these are the swatches. Um, okay, let's start with the first one. This one right here is Playland. So Playland. It's a real pretty shimmery gold color. Um, you can use it as a base color and add another color on top, like a nudish color to, get, to really make it like come through as a goldish metallic tone. Um, when on the lips, it doesn't show, you have to build it up. I'd say like two applications would give to this color. But yeah, it's a really pretty color, um, nice for the summer. Um, and I, I like to apply the lip gloss on top of it because it really does make it pop. Or you could just, um, like I said, mix colors. So say if you were to take these two and mix them, that would give it like a goldish pink tone, which I think would be really, really pretty. Okay, so this color is Sweet Experience. It's really pretty. I compare it a little bit to Sweet Lily and to... Snob. It's like a few shades under Snob, but it's just so pretty, so natural. It's just a nice nude color. Sort of looks like um, sort of looks like a bubblegum pink, but it's not. It's more nude and more natural. And this one is toying around. I don't know if you can see that. Toying around. Let's see. And that's that one. It's more of an orangey coral color um, with a pink hue to it. It's more for like a natural look also. So I think these two might be the lightest of, well they are the lightest besides the gold. The gold is more of a, I don't know. For me the gold I would put it like, I would mix it. If I was feeling kind of crazy one day maybe I'll wear it alone but I'd like to mix them. Like these, these two I would love to take together and mix like I said earlier. But yeah, this one is a really coral, coral orange color. It's really pretty. I really like this one, and it applies the same color as this on the lips. So pretty. And that one's toying around. Then the next one is Happy Go Lucky. And that's this hot pink one. Sort of like a hot pink. Sort of reminds me of Pink Poodle. And... Sort of has like a bluish, bluish tone to it. Pink blue tone. It's really, really pretty. I like it a lot. Um, I am a sucker for pinks and coral colors, so that really makes me happy that this whole line is mostly pinks and corals and summer colors like that, because those colors I am constantly in. So yeah, that's, that's this one. Really pretty. And that one was Happy Go Lucky. And the next one is Red Balloon. This one's Red Balloon. It's a really pretty pink fuchsia. Well, I wouldn't say too much of a fuchsia. It looks more like um, like a rose tint to it. Um, grape. Like a light red grape. If you know what I'm talking about, mm. it's just so pretty. It's like these are more like new natural colors. I think I love colors like this. It's so pretty. They drive me crazy how pretty they are. And they're super, super. They glide on so nicely. They stay on pretty well. Um, they're amp amplified. It says amplified red balloon. So pretty. It does sort of look like those. Um, I don't know if you ever seen a red pink balloon when it's before it's blown up. Before you blow it up, it has that color to it. And it's so I think the name matches this one really well. And the last one is this one right here, which is like the only red in this collection. It's called Head in the Clouds. And that's this one. And it has sort of um, I don't know if you can see that like a gold metallic in it. It sort of reminds me of the new limited edition Riri, Viva Glam, Riri. It, it's, I think it's almost identical to it. I mean, 
they probably had a little left over, so they made this one. <laughs> but I liked it and I got it, so I'm a sucker for their lipsticks. So yeah, that's all the lipsticks. And now moving on to the lip glosses. Okay, so starting off with this one. This one's called Pure Silliness. And this is it. And that's what it looks like. That's it right there. It's a really pretty pink. Um, I almost compare it to, um, well, this one I compare, I think it was. Well, they both sort of kind of look like Saint Germain. But I think it's this one, yeah. It is more this one, because it has more of a purple hue to it. Um, I like it. Um, if you don't feel like wearing lipstick, just go ahead and pop this one on for like more of an, um, if you want to bring color to your face if you're doing more of a toned down eyeshadow look, then this one will really make it pop. I like this one a lot. Um, again, it's called Pure Silliness. So really nice. These are the lip gloss in the collection. Then the next one is Carousel. This one is that one. This one also is very nude. So it's very, very, very sheer. So on the lips, it looks a little different. I mean, everything on the lips looks different though, because I know something with the pigmentation in our lips compared to the pigmentation with um, our hands and our skin on our hands. Just all different, but you could also always add um, lip primers and it'll help enhance the colors. So yeah, this one I like also because when I don't feel like having too much tint to my lip, I'm just going to go ahead and pop this one on. I'll probably be out of this pretty quickly because I'll be using this a lot. Really like it. Now this one is my favorite. This one is Live It Up. See that? It's a coral orange. Now, that's that one. You can see the color. Right there. Really pretty, really sheer. Nice orange, especially because summertime. I think all these colors for summertime is just going to be awesome. So that's that color. And I like to... Um, I could show you. Let me show you the crayon really quick. This is the orange crayon. It is called Genuine Orange. That's that one. Sorry, I used it today. <laughs> so that one glides on really super easy. I really like MAC pencils because they just glide right on. It's like no problem. So I want to show you what it looks like. There's just the pencil and then when you apply the gloss you can see it darkens. It's just so pretty. And I, um, what I done today is I filled my lips in with the pencil first, and then I went ahead and popped this on top. I really like this one a lot. So the next one is Playland. No, not Playland, my bad. Um, Bright Side. <laughs> it looks like Playland. They should have just called it Playland. They should have, I don't know, it goes with it. This one's called Bright Side. It looks really yellow. But again, it's the gold color. You could even mix these two together. Those would look really pretty. Or even those two. I mean, this color, these are mixable colors. So that's the good thing about this one. It's like yellow, sheer color. So right here. I think it's pretty. Um, I would definitely use these a lot when mixing colors. I don't know if I'll wear it too much just on its own. I don't know, it depends. It depends what kind of outfit I have put together and what, um, where I'm going. So yeah, that's that. I also put the orange on the tip of my eye. So if you guys want to see a um, tutorial on how I did my, my, my eyeshadow, Definitely leave it down in the comment section below and I'll go ahead and do a tutorial on that for you guys. So I have the yellow pigment that I'm going to be swatching for you guys in the corners of my eyes. Let me go ahead and swatch that for you guys. So yeah, this is called um, Ever So Yellow. So let's get that. Oh, it's a little too much. I'm going to go ahead and swatch it for you. 
See that? Really pigmented. Maybe let's see, I'll put a little more right there. And these are supposed to mix. You're supposed to use Max Mix with it. You put a little bit of the cap, like a tiny drop, and uh, some of the powder. And you take a brush, you swirl it around in there until it's like a kind of thick, not too thick, creamy texture. And then you just pat it in the eyes. And that's what that looks like. You could, you could also make it, build it. It's very buildable. You could make the, you could use this also for a polish. You can mix this with some clear polish. Don't mix it in there, but get another container, mix it on the side with your polish brush, with your clear polish, and go ahead and push that on. You could use this for an eyeliner if you got a clear eyeliner thing. Mix a little bit in there and go ahead and put that on. You can make a lip gloss with this also. With a clear lip gloss, just go ahead and mix it. Or even you could even mix it in any color you want of your lip glosses, which I think is really cool about Max Pigments. Any pigment, anyways, that comes in a jar, you you're able to do those things. So that's pretty cool. So I'll get a lot of use out of this color because yellows, especially for summertime, this kind of yellow, I just love. So yeah, um, that was the pigment. And let's move on to our last color. And that's this pink lip glass right here. It's that one. It's called Lots of Laughs. This one's really nude. Really pretty. It's sort of like, um, not so much like Angel, but I think it's in between Angel and Snob. I know, that's just my opinion. I think it's really pretty though. And this one looks a lot like the For Your Amusement in this palette. Let me show you that. I don't know, you tell me. But it looks a lot like this one. Yeah, so that's this one. And this one also is another one that I'll probably go through pretty quick because I'll use it as everyday. Just throw it in my, my makeup bag, in my purse, and just, you know, go at it. So I like this. Okay, so you already seen the, the crayon. you already seen the pigments. Now we're going to move on to our casual color. Lip and cheek color. So this one's for your amusement. Let's open it up. Looks like that. And then let's swatch it for you guys. And that's the color. So yeah, I think it's very comparable. Let's see. To this one, if you can see that. Oh, really, really comparable. Watch. Really sheer. You could use this as a, um, a lip gloss. You could even use this as an eyeshadow base. If you put this on your eyelid, the bottom of your eyelid, like right here, and then put color, it'll help adhere the color so much prettier. I do that a lot. Um, yeah, you put these on your cheeks. They're really very easy to blend. Really, really easy to blend. I messed with um, one of them today on my cheeks. And I think that... They come in handy because if you're on the go with your makeup and you need something for your lips and something for your cheeks and you don't want to overdo your purse to be extra heavy, then you have this. This helps to exit out two of your products. So you just have one. You have a cheek and a lip product in one. So that's awesome. So that was for your amusement. Now the next one is high jeans. This one I think is my favorite. It's a coral color. Pink coral, so pretty, so pigmented, pigmented, let's see, and that's the one I'm wearing today, really pretty, I'm just watch for you guys, so you can see.